Good morning everyone! On this blessed day I have decided to use up whatever honey locust I had left and make yet another charcuterie board. I know, I made a few boards recently already, but it has been a few videos since my last one. And I felt like I needed some practice, not to mention I have this beautiful honey locust sitting there and I do know what else to do with it, since I didn't want to turn it into a cutting board because my blades would be dull. Seriously, this honey locust is the hardest thing I ever worked with. So charcuterie board it is. I started off by cutting out a rough shape of what I wanted it to look like. Even after cutting it how I drew, there was some bark left over on the board on the bottom side and I'm not a fan of bark on my pieces. Thus, I used my belt sander to make sure to remove any bark remnants that were on the board. And as an added touch, I also used it to smooth out some of the rougher edges that I didn't get just right with the jigsaw. I have grown to enjoy using my belt sander for such tasks quite a lot. <laughs> Now that the edges were nice and sanded, it was time to make sure that the whole thing was plain. Thankfully, from my personal experience, I have found out that the locust wood doesn't tend to twist or warp too much, so I didn't have too many adjustments to make to it to make sure it is smooth. If you notice, I did use some wedges to prevent it from wobbling though, because even though it was cut straight, it warped just ever so slightly and that amount was enough to be unacceptable for me. One of the issues of passing it through planer is that the blades on the planer tend to destroy all knots on the wood, so I had to inspect the two spots where the knots were present and seal the damage up with some sawdust. These nice touches make the whole thing look just a little bit more done and finished. So edges were sanded, board was plain, knots were fixed up, the last step was to make sure that the sides were straight too. So I put the whole thing up against the flute bit to make sure to straighten the sides. Since this wasn't a typical charcuterie board that I make where I route all the edges, this step actually didn't remove too much wood, but it did remove just enough to make it seem good. And now it was time to make everything super shiny! I started sanding it. I began rough sanding with 80 grit and used it to remove some of the glue remnants from when I was sealing it and then by going up by 20 grits I went all the way up to 400 grit and then from 400 grit I went all the way up to 800 grit by going up with 30 grit increments. By the end the whole board was super slippery and shiny from all that sanding. I appreciate that some of you guys actually told me to wear a respirator at all times. From now on, no matter what, I will wear one. No excuses. Right after sanding it, I proceeded to oil it up. This time I'm using Clark's oil. I just wanted to give it a try to see how it behaves. Usually I use salmon oil, but for fun I thought I would try Clark's. It is cheaper than salmon and seems to be acceptable. But personally I would rather spend just a little bit more to use salmon. Salmon smells better and feels better to apply in general. And by the way, this is not sponsored by salmon, I just simply like their oil. Once three coats of oil were applied on each side, I also used Clark's wax to shine it up. Again, Clark's isn't so bad and I give it quite a good grade, but that's just it. Clark's products are good, but they are not exceptionally perfect. I do not know much about these things however, so do not take my word for it. I simply speak from perspective of how it feels like when I apply it and how it looks when I'm done with it. I have no idea about how any of these oils or waxes work and how to test which one is better or not. Anyways, once it was done being waxed, the charcuterie board was ready. It ended up being pretty decent, except that big knot on the back. The sheer size of that knot is a bit off-putting for me personally and I wish I removed it. However, if I did remove it, then I wouldn't know what to do with that gaping hole it would leave behind. It would be too large to just seal up with some sawdust and another piece of locust. But that's a problem for another board. I was done with this one and quite happy with how it turned out. If you enjoyed watching this video just as much as I enjoyed making it, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing. I try to release videos every week. If you have any comments or suggestions or tips, those are very welcome too. I'm still new and I have no idea what I'm doing. And in general, I just like talking to you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye bye!